Hello there, Bob Smitty here, and finally we get to play episode two of season two of The Walking Dead. <sighs> yes! I'm just so glad they finally came out with this. I've been dying to play this next episode. Start episode two, sure. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit! Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Yeah, that's... Bad. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! I chose to save Pete. Many people went after Nick, but I heard if you go after Nick, then uh, Pete kind of sort of dies. I think. Epic title screen. shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? It's kind of obvious. Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. Oh, no. It's worth a shot, I guess. I got nothing to lose. Other than my Piggly Wigglies, of course. Don't you need to bite something? Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just. Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Okay, let's see. No, don't wanna look at that. Oh, that's... I kind of sort of took that from the house. <coughs> Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep looking around. Uh, 
here we go. Maybe I can contact somebody. No, the wires are cut, of course. The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. I don't know if Clementine can drive, though. Out of gas. Oh. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. You got a light? That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. She slept like that. He's going to turn into a zombie. Just in case. Oh, poor Pete. It's going to be a quick time event, isn't it? something funny I've been thinking and I don't want to die <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that but there it is I'm scared Clementine Jesus I'm scared everyone ends up like this yeah, you never think it's gonna happen to you Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. Ah, oh, crap. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I'll try. Well... Like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. Ain't gonna work. 
Go on now. Find my nephew. You have to try. I said to go. God damn it, go. Ah. Ah, crap. You could have taken down a few of them for me. That's a thought that counts. Wait, is this a different house? Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. I see, we're getting along. We can work together as a team. Come on. Say cheese. What? I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. <laughs> take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Might as well Get humor. Me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? Ah, oh, crap. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Oh. Will you show me how to use it? Oh, wow. I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <laughs> what should I shoot? Don't do oh. that! So yeah. Sorry, sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. Uh, There's that know. tree. Hey, Luke's back! Um, something tells me, and the music tells me that that's not Luke. Jump scare? No. Huh. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? Hello? Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Is 
They wouldn't hurt a Hello? little girl. Um, open. Hello there. Hello. How are you? Okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. <laughs> you mind if I come in? Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. Carver. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. A bit taller than you. A big black guy. This big. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. I can't really overpower the guy. A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north, looking for Shangri-La. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. Have you been north? Well, not since before. But I've heard things. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. Just play it cool. Play it cool. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Maybe because you're crazy. Well, well. White's in trouble. Don't go up the stairs. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? Creaky stairs. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Ah, crap. That was a bad choice. to hide I told you nobody's here seems that way didn't mean to be rude couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around right sure who's this Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? D 
Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. W wait who are you? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Well, there's no adults around. <laughs> we need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Why do you care so much? Excuse me? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy. Or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. Oh, that's cool. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Oh, no. 
There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open, and stay in sight. Hey, did he take out all the zombies? That'd be cool. have a gun who did this son of a bitch we probably, need to go probably Carver he's gone Nick he, he, he's gone we gotta get moving come on man He was a good guy. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You... Sure you still want to come with us? Look. I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Yeah, we got to look after Nick. Did we make it to the mountains? Hey, we're at a bridge. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this back. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. I want to look around a little more. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're going to be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. 
Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. I hope we hey, don't lose Luke. Uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. What do you think? I think we can take him. Be very sneaky. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. <sighs> I hope I made the right choice. There's only two of them, so this should be simple. Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <laughs> yeah, good point. Nice work, kid. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, so that that worked out. I don't know what I'm worried about, but Push him off the bridge. Oh crap! Hey, I'm okay. I just I'm stuck. Oh crap! Ugh, I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you. Oh shit. Oh crap. Uh. Whoa. No. Oh, that's one of them. through the head. Nice. Oh, 
Always go for a headshot. Here, give it here. Whoa. <laughs> I made the right choices there. Good teamwork. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. Just stay on the metal parts, okay? You see him? Oh no, is yeah. that is that Carver? Oh no. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Hi. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. It's good to be truthful. <laughs> huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? What? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. You're the one holding a gun. Touche. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. Why do you care where we're going? It's sort of my business, considering I live here. You live here? Yep. You're in my backyard. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, no, no! Nick, Nick. No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Don't shoot! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Ah, oh, crap. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. It wasn't Nick's fault. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look. I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex is dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? 
Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. I'm just afraid if I let any of the other characters do something, then uh, <laughs> they might get hurt or killed. <laughs> That'd be bad. I had to kill my mom. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. Oh, I have it! I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... Thank you, Clem. Yay! You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Ah, mending relationships. Oh, uh, I'm gonna look through first. Uh, yeah, there's a few cans in there. Hope there's no booby traps, though. Like an axe swinging from the ceiling to chop my head. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. I well, we'll have to break it open then. Oh wow. Feels pretty good. I guess he slept here. It's dead. Ah. Let's see, what else can we do in here? Oh, I can pry it open with the knife now. There we go. That's the way to think, Bob. Ah, don't break the knife. We need this. I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. <laughs> huh. 
That's funny. She looks just like you. <laughs> hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. Yeah, it's I'm a shame. Gonna... Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Well, she is the main character. Kind of. The hell is that? Oh no. Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. <sighs> here we go again. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Eh, yeah, doesn't mean there is nobody. Damn. Home. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think about choosing the the monkey. <laughs> well, what do I look like to you, a monkey? Eh, that probably would have been a mean answer, though. I'm trying to go for the the nice girl. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. <laughs> Got a good grip? Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. You said don't look down. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> oh. Ooh, a crow. Made it. You see anything? See the woods. It's really dark. <gasps> I see lights. I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Um, he's not gonna catch us if we fall. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. <gasps> what? Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> Kenny! <laughs> From season one. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. 
you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. I thought Kenny died back in, in Savannah. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. Trust you. There are guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. See, we can all trust each other. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Yeah, about that. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he was there for me. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well... <gasps> I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? 
Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Oh no, was Matthew the guy Wait, down the... Why don't you help Walt with dinner? Matthew wasn't the guy on the bridge, was he? Because Nick kind of sort of shot him. Oh no. I got a bad feeling. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? <laughs> so how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? If it doesn't kill me. What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. <laughs> huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. All right, what is up with the canned peaches? Joy. In the apocalypse. Nah. Let's take a look. CD. Play some tunes. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Huh, let's play it. Reminds me of school. Have some nice music playing while I'm uh, uh, investigating the area. I haven't seen one of these What's since. What's song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. <laughs> Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Hmm. Find a tree topper, okay. Uh. Hmm. Look at this map. Anything to do over here? Just admire the fireplace. Ah, that did nothing. I just found a tree topper. Ah. Is there. Must be a. Oh, there we go. She's moving faster. I was looking for a run button. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? What do you think they are? Ninjas? <laughs> Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? 
She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? The baby. I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. I'll talk to her first. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. <laughs> Good point. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. Who are you talking about? I can't Which believe guy? I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. Oh. I hate it when you call me that. I know. But I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and well, I'm curious. I haven't noticed. Oh, well, let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Um, okay. Rare? Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. <laughs> well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. I'm concerned about the bad guys following us. You okay, man? Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh. Oh, crap. They're gonna make me decide, aren't they? Here you go, Clem. Ugh. I'm sorry, dude. Can so we just Clem, talk about this? We were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. 
That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. What? Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Ah. We can get along. Come on. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> oh. Duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. We're gonna leave in the morning. No, no, you gotta stay. We have to keep moving. Clementine, in this world, you don't have to do anything. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Uh, no. <laughs> well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. Um, okay. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. <gasps> Matthew. 
Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Uh, I think she's part of that group. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. I don't think Walt understands the way of the world right now. <laughs> Freak out. Okay. Uh, what is this about? Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. <gasps> oh, okay, no. well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh. And, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. We should show him, I think. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? <gasps> oh, no. It's gone. We gotta talk to him. Walter? I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? 
Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. There's an accident, dude. I can see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. There's Jesus. an accent, though. I, uh... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is, uh... Is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge. It's okay, everyone. It's fine. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, I, I thought I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Everybody just chill. the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. Oh boy. What the hell was that? Damn it. Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. The rest of you, get this thing shut down. All right, now it's getting really exciting. <laughs> oh, man. Does anyone know how to do this? Great. Walter? I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Ah, now this is teamwork. Um... That didn't do anything. Um... Switch. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Something ain't right. Yeah. Oh boy. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. Then stop standing there. They're behind us. Good shot.
Okay. I got two of them. Uh, run, Clem. Oh no! Oh boy. Dodge him. Um. Oh crap. Why do you have to go for the gun? Just run. Great kick. Way to go, Walter. I'm really liking this episode right now. Clem, get inside! Go! Okay. Clementine, are you okay? Whoa. What the hell? Oh, are there the people chasing us? Oh no. <gasps> yep. Yep, it's that girl. I knew she was with him. Bonnie, huh? Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. Oh, no. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! Dad! Sarah! Inside. It's you. Keep moving. You clean this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. Uh, it's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Crap. Johnny, cover that window. At least they saved us from the walkers. <gasps> oh no. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. Oh no. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Oh. Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! 
Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. And Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. My dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. Let's get out of here. Only way out is through these windows. Clem can fit. You heard him. He knows she's here. <laughs> Clem can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck uh, you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. That's her best bet. God damn it. Oh, you never did fuck. listen. Hurry! Let's see if I can get your attention. looking crap where are they Luke and Kenny I need backup clam <gasps> uh oh Guys out. Can't see a fucking thing. You all right? Where's Luke? Hell, I don't know. He was whining about something or other, so I told him to take a hike. <laughs> gun. Ooh! Got him. Dang it, Kenny. Oh, no. for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Oh, come on, Kenny. Kenny, over there. Oh, another angle. Hi, Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Kenny, stop! <gasps> Alvin! Damn. It's a tough shot. What do you think? Clam! Don't shoot. What? He'll kill him. We can't just give up. Kenny, he'll kill him. 
keep doing this. Think about Sarita. That's right. We're coming out. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Be continued. Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. Folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. Knowing full well, those who choose not to accept our love surely wish that they had. A storm is on the way. Oh, okay. Took blame for Sarah's photo. Uh, almost evenly divided. Who did you sit with at dinner? Eh, Kenny. I mean, he's an old friend. He kind of needs some love and attention. Told Walter the truth about Matthew. Uh, slight majority. Nick's fate. You and 60% of players convince Walter to forgive Nick. That's good. Uh, left to find Kenny. You and 37% of players sought Kenny's help. So what do the other part do? Just give up. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, man. Oh, that was intense. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I think Alvin would have got shot if he tried to shoot at him. I mean, it would have been another dead character. Oh, well, anyway, that is the end of Episode 2 of Season 2 of The Walking Dead. Be sure to tune in for Episode 3. Tell me where did you sleep last night?